patient ventilator asynchrony is a term that describes a mismatch of the timing and gas delivery between a patient and the mechanical ventilator. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of the topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. As previously mentioned, patient ventilator asynchrony is characterized by inappropriate timing of a delivered breath between a patient and the mechanical ventilator. This increases work of breathing and makes it more difficult for the patient to breathe comfortably on the machine. In this case, due to intubation, the patient is unable to communicate, which makes it challenging for respiratory therapists and medical professionals. Ventilator dyssynchrony is a similar term used to describe this interaction and can generally be used interchangeably with patient ventilator asynchrony. Patient ventilator asynchrony can result in a number of adverse effects, including the following. Patient discomfort, increased work of breathing, respiratory distress, increased anxiety, over distension, ventilator induced lung injury, prolonged sedation, prolonged duration of mechanical ventilation, and increased time in the ICU. Each adverse effect caused by ventilator asynchrony is associated with an increased mortality rate. Some examples of the common causes of patient ventilator asynchrony include the following. Ineffective triggering, incorrect ventilator mode, incorrect ventilator settings, inappropriate triggering, flow dyssynchrony, exhalation dyssynchrony, auto peep, artificial airway problems, drug-induced problems, and certain lung diseases. Asynchrony can occur due to several other causes as well. These are just a few of the most common examples. The management of patient ventilator asynchrony depends on the specific cause. Since inappropriate ventilator settings are typically involved, making proper adjustments appears to be the best treatment method. For example, the practitioner may need to adjust the flow sensitivity or inspiratory time. A different ventilator mode may be considered as well. Patient ventilator asynchrony can occur in both assisted and controlled ventilatory breaths. With that said, in general, the less control the ventilator has on the patient's respiratory pattern, the less likely they will experience asynchrony. Volume-controlled ventilation typically results in more cases of dyssynchrony because it controls volume, flow, and time. On the other hand, modes such as pressure support ventilation typically result in the least amount of dyssynchrony cases. Proportional assist ventilation and neurally adjusted ventilatory assist are two ventilator modes that are effective in avoiding dyssynchrony. That is because they allow the patient to select the ventilatory pattern that is delivered. But again, for this video, we just wanted to provide you with a brief overview of this topic. We'll be breaking it down into much more detail in a separate video. Real quick, if you don't mind, do me a huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps support the channel and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And you might as well go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Hopefully what you learned in this video was useful and can help you develop a better understanding of this topic. If so, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you want to dive even deeper, we do have a full guide on our website. I will drop a link to it right below this video down in the description. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. Have a blessed day and as always, breathe easy my friend.